Hey, my name's Anita Louise. Anita is Spanish and I am 100% German and Louise is French. So don't ask me, but that's my name, Anita Louise. My nickname's Gidget, so I'm hoping Gidget goes to AGT. I tried singing a little bit last year uh, for my audition and I know I can't sing very well at all, but I love it. I try to sing in the people in the car, like family, turn on the radio. I'm like, okay, even my little three-year-old granddaughter says, stop singing. So for the sake of all, no singing. But I have a ghost story for you. True story happened October 31st of 1995. My son at the time, oldest son, wanted to be a Green Bay Packer football player for Halloween. And I knew our helmet was up in the garage attic, so I had him hold the old standard ladder. And you know, there's that thing that says, don't step on this, it's not a step. And then I had to like haul myself, pump myself up in there and go in. So I looked back to my son and I said, okay, I'm going in, pray for my guardian angels. I didn't even believe in angels at the time. So I get up there, so I'm about 15 feet off the ground, cement floor, and I took a step or two, and I went from a vertical position to a horizontal position quite fast. Fell. No one told me you couldn't walk on drywall. So anyway, I felt something just lower me down. And I hit the bottom, and I am an RN, well, RN retired nurse, and I'm lying there thinking, okay, if you have a possible neck injury, spinal cord injury, you don't move. And I thought, oh, my left arm was not moving at all. And I thought, well, I'm like, I looked up to heaven and I said, dear God, you said if you have a faith of a mustard seed, you can make a mountain move. Please, 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 can I walk? Well, as you can see, I'm walking and I'm moving. And on the way to the ER, my left arm just did not work. And I'm thinking, no more baseball, no more golf, no more. And I thought, I can live with that. So anyway, I get to the ER, and they, uh, by that time, my left arm's moving, miraculously, if you ask me. I get to the ER, they want to take x-rays, they want to x-ray my pelvis and my coccyx, and the young man, the x-ray thing, said, okay, this is going to penetrate pretty deep. It might, you might not be able to have children after that, and I'm like, okay, that's good, because my husband doesn't want any more, but I do. So he covered me up. Took the picture, checked it, came out, said it didn't work. Covering up again, took the picture, didn't work. Third time, came out, tried something different. Picture didn't show up again. No x-ray, no radiation to my pelvis. And I said to the guy, I whipped off my apron and said, ever hear of the Holy Ghost? Because it was October 31st, Halloween. And I said, I think I'm supposed to have another baby. So sure enough, 1996, we had our fifth child. Took God and I a while to talk my husband into him, but there he is. Hope you saw that. And we had five twins in the set. Here they are. That's the kid now.